Uh, obviously, a big comeback for you guys in the third period. Was anything said in that second intermission, or did they kind of go without saying that you needed a better effort? Uh, it was actually a similar message to what we had before the game. We were in a similar spot in Laval where we were behind and needed a comeback. So we felt like there maybe we got away from our game pushing a little bit. So we just talked about sticking with what we were doing. We liked our second period, so we figured if we can keep doing what we're doing and hopefully eventually we'll get some bounces and we were fortunate to get rewarded there. Are you a vocal guy in the dressing room during the games? Like, is that part of your leadership style? I know you were just named the assistant captain, um, but you know some guys lead by example, some are pretty vocal as well. Are you one of those vocal leaders? Uh, maybe a little bit, but we're really lucky here. We have so many guys that sort of take that on. So a lot of times there's not even a ton to be said because guys know what's expected of them and, and what they need to do. So we're lucky. We have a lot of guys in the room that speak up and say what needs to be said, and then we we're able to execute it today. What do you think was the most rewarding part? Or sorry, the most sort of like important part about the way that you guys came back? What do you guys think that you would adjust with wise to, to get back in that game? Yeah, almost. I think the nicest part about it was that we didn't really have to make too many adjustments. It was just sticking with with what we knew and what we did in the second period there. There was no, we need to keep a guy here or there, do anything crazy. It was just stick with it, trust trust our game, and, and it worked out for us. AC Mont has some chemistry, obviously, together, both of you contributing to the scoreboard. What have you liked about playing with him? Yeah, uh, he can move around out there in a hurry and obviously lots of skill. So, you know, if you give it to him, he's going to be able to get it back to you in a good spot. So, yeah, I've been fortunate to be on the receiving end of a couple of his plays. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Go next to Dave Manuk from the Legal Curve. Go ahead, Dave. Thanks, Austin. Hey, Cole. Uh, you know what? How do you guys not get discouraged, though? I mean, you outshoot him 20 to 6 in that second period, but you give up two goals, you're down 2 nothing. So what is it? What's the message in the intermission to you, the team, because like I said, you guys dominate, but you know, you're on the the wrong side of the scoring. Yeah, um, it definitely can get discouraging, but I think a big part of it was us learning from that game in Laval, actually sort of, it was sort of, we, we just had this situation, so let's not make the same mistakes again. Let's stick with what we're doing because it didn't work for us in Laval. So we figured let's stick with it here and it worked out for us tonight. And is that, like you said, that's kind of the, the way you guys came out in the third period, obviously out shooting them heavily, and then it starts to go, go for you, right? Like you don't, you don't have to really break with the system because you get a greasy one, you, you, you know, you're within one, and then next thing the dam kind of breaks. But Picard was obviously phenomenal tonight for them. Yeah, he does an awesome job. I mean, even dumping pucks in, he can, he can get to almost anything. And if he can see a shot, he's, he's going to save it. So. It was tough for us to get one by him, but fortunately, some bounces around the net, maybe just some traffic, that's the only way to really beat him. Nicole, is it a little difficult? I mean, I know you guys were on the road and you're only home for two games and then you go back on the road. Is it is it a little difficult to kind of get going? Both teams seemed like there was a kind of a, a slow start to that low event first period. Yeah, maybe a little bit. Um, yeah, we just got back from that trip, a little bit of a tricky travel day yesterday, and then right back into it. But I mean, it was nice to get into it after after losing in Laval. So on that side of things, I guess it's nice you have a game right after the trip. But on the same side, it's a little bit of travel before getting into it. But that's pro hockey. I mean, I guess we're back to 72 games this year, so we got to get used to that. Well, and last one, last one for me. But you know, do you, do you have that good feeling back? I mean, you guys won eight of your last 10 games. You're you know, I think second right now in the Central. Does that is that feeling right now in the room? Because I know you guys had that for most of last year, but especially towards the end when you guys went on that big streak, is that kind of that feeling kind of back the way it was last year? Yeah, I, I think so. I think we're working on, on building that every, every night. And yeah, it's nice to get going on a little bit of a run here. And, and like you said, we were able to just trust on it last year. And I think we're, we're starting to get in that same rhythm.